Mm. And he gonna learn today, news. He gonna learn today. Yeah. Stop flirting, guys. No, she's covered in hair. I'm I'm chastising. Wow. Who are you guys? Barn Joe? Chastising me. <laughs> Stop being I covered like in it. hair. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Punish me? Yeah, I'll punish you. Yeah, there it is. Stop flirting. <laughs> okay, now we're flirting. <laughs> Submitted by Jerry from NM. New Mexico? Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. Albuquerque. That's where the aliens are. Out of all the places I believe that. New Mexico. Hmm? Are you joking? Because I believe that. No, I believe it. Okay, thank you. They have Very beautiful good. sunsets. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that I'm not being made Alien fun of. Because I would appreciate not being made fun of. Thank you. They have Walter White. No, Area 51 is Nevada. Oh. Roswell is New Mexico. Oh. Remember that show Roswell? There was a cute girl on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The whole town of Roswell is just I aliens. Remember, I just remember she was fucking They're cute. They're aliens. I remember like a naked um, teen guy. Naked teen guy? He was the lead, right? Maybe. I think it was a different show. <laughs> <laughs> there was a blonde girl that was cute. That and was, was the a... porno uh, no, parody then, of it. <laughs> yeah, and then a bunch of guys walk in and start fucking them, right? Yeah. I think so, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's Roswell, yeah. I think I like that show. Yeah. Roswell, New Mexico. A mother catches and whips her 13-year-old son who stole her BMW to visit his girlfriend. Oh. That makes mother sense. what? Whips. Catches and whips. Oh. Whew. Yeah. I hope it's like with the medieval. <laughs> no, it's with El Cinto. Le cinto. Oh. So that, I fucking. So they're Mexican. Whenever I yeah. got beat, dude, I would pray I would get the belt. The belt was so much easier to take than the fucking stick and the bat and the metal pipe. Wow. That's fucked up. Your parents hit you with objects. Your parents hit you I just got feather. a fist. <laughs> your, your parents hit you with objects. Closed fist. You got hit with objects from the game Clue. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Basically, oh, Jesus, yeah. Calabra. Yeah, well, I had the uh, the fucking yeah. what's it called? The fucking Jewish little candle oh, thing. Oh, yeah. the, the, the menorah. Menorah. The menorah. menorah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this takes place in El Paso, and so his sister tweeted this out. El Paso, it Texas, Texas. It started with this tweet. My 13 year old brother disconnected the Wi-Fi so my mom wouldn't be able to see her cameras and took her brand new BMW oh to his girlfriend's house. I shouldn't be laughing, but damn. <laughs> she tweeted that? She tweeted that and then she also tweeted, first stop, his girlfriend's house. Ooh. Oh. And he's posting pictures. And it gets yeah. juicy. And the next one is, she made me bring a belt to work. Hermes too. Ah. Damn, this one's rich. Oh, yeah. Shit. They're, oh, they're driving a shit. Cadillac like and then she has a Louis bag, bag and then the Hermes. Hermes. I hope she holds it on the buckle. Hermes. Huh? I hope she holds the buckle. <laughs> she uses the buckle. That'll be fucked Wait, up. She's whipping him for stealing it. her whip. Oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. that's a good pun. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So that's then, a good kind of pun, not the dark kind of pun. Whip. <laughs> she whipped the whip. You're supposed to use the belt buckle at the end, though, right? Wrap it around your fist. And Dude, how can you be driving that kind of car with that kind of bag, and then you have like a fucking Kirkland water in there? Yeah, that should be Evian. No, so Voss. Later Evian. in the <laughs> Evian. <laughs> how fucking dare you pronounce it Evian? <laughs> Evian. This is this is deep green. Yeah. Some, some five jai water. Swido. Yeah. Hey man, they're big. Banmies. 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 I love a banmi sandwich. Mario too. party. So I love Mario. right? Because uh, it's Mario. it's a French product. So how do you say Evian in 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 France? Avion. Yeah, the Avion. You have the whisper. Avion. Avion. It's rich. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah, Kalangi. Yeah, the Kalangi. Yeah. Like a Kalangi. No, so she ended up doing a Q and A video later after this went viral with her brother. She was saying like they're not rich. It's just like her dad works in uh, buying auction cars and like flipping them and then reselling them. Wait, then, that doesn't mean you're not rich. No, yeah. hold on. That's the reason for the Cadillac. And then the Louis Vuitton, she bought it from like a verified reseller, so she bought it like not even for second hand. Yeah, like still, even, even second hand. Still even second hand expensive. For sure. And still then the buy belt coach. It was given to her dad from her like her uncle or something. They didn't even know that that brand. But the way they're using that belt to beat somebody. No, they tells didn't know. Me. They didn't know that that belt was like high. Expensive. Like, oh, oh, so it was like a brand. They saw an H and they liked it. Yeah, they just didn't know. Anyway, moving on from that. I love that they gotta show, tell everyone how not rich they are. Right, but, but they buy those products to look rich, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the like, bell was... Uh, a gift? A gift. But, oh, but the car. But the Louis Vuitton bag, like, I would never buy a Louis Vuitton because I don't really know designers at all, and so, like, you don't, you have to, like, have pride in that sort of thing. I got a Louis Vuitton and, like, wallet. Like that image. Well, I mean, they're Mexican. Mexicans, like, we're very materialistic people. Mm. Same with Filipinos. 
So that's it. Like Bart bought me a name brand true. wallet. I remember my aunt got me a Coach keychain, and I thought it was from a sports store. Because <laughs> Coach, oh, that's I amazing. thought it was like a whistle blowing coach that of a, like a like sports store. That's for peasants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Name brand stuff. <sighs> She's like, hey, don't worry, we're not rich. My dad just makes money buying and flipping companies. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're not rich, dude. This is so funny. No, and then so that BMW, she calls it a brand, like her new BMW, but it's not like brand new off the lot. It's like brand new to them. Hey, some people don't even have that kind of money. That's why they're considered rich in a lot of people's yeah, eyes. Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely, but not as rich as other people thought. Anyway, the point yes, is- Yes, they're not real wealthy, video. but they have enough money to buy nice things. Yes. So, let me show you. Upper middle class. She ended up, yeah. she ended up recording her mom they when they finally been. found the BMW on the streets. Here we go. I would have called the car. Oh, oh, yeah. And it's raining too. That boy should have been driving in the rain. That's exactly what she was even more oh. mad. Like, his anger was because oh, of the yeah. rain. You barely see him. He's a very good there. driver. Adults can't even fucking drive in the short. rain. Damn. Californians can't drive in the rain. Let's do it. I just, I'm proud of him that he can actually drive though. Ooh. Because, like, that's She's going I'm... off. Ooh, I would too though. Ooh, I wouldn't whip him, but I would. What is it? Oh, no! Whoa! As a mom, me yeah. as a mom. That's a mom. <laughs> no! You want to be you as a mom? You now. That's huh? the you fucked up. <laughs> you last night. That's the you fucked up. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. but that was last night. She's like, give me the belt. She's like, give me the belt. So she oh she goes out. Oh, she opens the door. Yep. Whoa! Whoa! She starts whipping oh, in the middle of the. Go room. mom, go mom, go mom. <laughs> Whip his ass. Yeah, his sister just laughing. I'd be laughing too, though. Yeah. He thought he could get away with stealing a car. I, I think know. 100 yeah. As a sibling, there is nothing more fun than watching your <laughs> sibling get yeah. destroyed over something, and knowing that you're completely like innocent. In, innocent, and it's like wearing in, like an invulnerability shield. Because you're the favorite one at the moment. Yeah. Dude. Well, so the sister, she's an older sister. She already has like her own kid and yeah, lives like yeah. next door. So it's not like as close in age as you would it's think. But it's still funny. Yeah, for you sure. You get to be all smug about it. It's so fun. I love the smugitude. Like, well, yeah, I think a hundred percent. Well, you shouldn't have done it. Definitely put on a fucking boxing glove and start wailing on my kid like as hard as fucking possible like I would try to break something on him you know I'd be scared. Oh, shit. I'd be scared that if I drive up to my kid that they're gonna try to race me and drive off oh that's what no, dude, this kid. Somebody I mean, like fucking pull over. They're like, ah, and then dude, they get scared. Your kids aren't scared enough of you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're not. Cause that's some shit you would do. Most kids wouldn't do that. <laughs> Most kids, like if I if I saw my parents. Yeah, I would drive off. I would try to get You're away. gonna get caught eventually, exactly. and it's gonna be worse. No, no, I'll drive away, and then I won't go home for three days and let them chill out. Oh, you yeah. think they smart. chill out? Lay low. I Ooh, did that smart. I dare you if I, if you were my kid. Yeah. I actually did I, that. There's no chill here. It just Nikki gets hotter. Nikki would stay mad for three days. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could let it stew. My mom called the cops because she was scared because I was avoiding her like crazy because I took the car too once when I was thinks. 15, 16, and yeah, like she, they call the cops and then like all my friends were like, you need to get in contact with your mom because she's calling all of us and the cops are getting involved. Like you really need to go home or like call her or something. I finally called her, I'm like, mom, I'm okay. <laughs> and I hung up, <laughs> I was just so scared. But then finally I ended up going home and then by the time I got home, there was no door in my, do in my room. She was like, you're not getting privacy anymore. But yeah, this wow, kid, it was the- that. I'd leave my put kids up some beads, did you put up some beads? <laughs> You know how people Those, do that? Like, door door hanging bees. Yeah. My grandma has that at her house. house. Yeah, they're hilarious. <laughs> so this dude, this kid, it was the second time he took the Oh shit. Yeah, so, so that the first that's time. why the mom was just like, that's it, I've fucking had it. Because the first time they handled, like, I guess she didn't whip him around, I don't know what happened, but like she talked to him for a long time and like, you know, she thought she got through to this kid. Like, you shouldn't be taking the car. But that pussy game is so strong He's for lost. that 13 year old. Absolutely. Lost in the sauce. Yeah, so then now that's why she had the belt. I would like, almost want my kid to steal some shit just so I could fuck him up. David, so, you are, David, mm -hmm. you have too many childhood issues. <laughs> I would just never like, have kids. No, no, no. no. Good thing I would that he's delaying the proposal. Yes, I, I think it is. I love that too. shit. Like, David please. wants a kid so he could fuck him up. Yeah. yeah. I would he's leave like, the I keys out right next to the fucking door and I would pretend to sleep. 
like in deep sleep. Like, these are the people though that once they do have kids, like they're just pussies. You're just gonna be a giant pussy. You'd be surprised. <laughs> You'll be like Bart with Taika. Oh yeah, you probably. My uncle, uh, he was the like meanest seven. uncle. Yeah. He was so mean to us, and then and he'd be like, "Are oh, you kids?" And then and he was the oldest uncle, and then he had a kid, and he babies the shit out of that kid. Yeah. Probably, but in my mind right now, I don't yeah. have a kid. So as of right now, oh, I would love for that shit to happen. These are perfectly normal feelings. Yeah, you little <laughs> fucking shit. What if they pull a Charlotte and they want to legally leave the family? Then fucking get the fuck out of here, dude. I, I like that you dude, pulled an Ozark reference. Good, Who's dude, Charlotte? God yeah. forbid David So can't have kids and has to adopt. That's right. Because there is so much footage <laughs> of you saying you'd beat the fuck out of your kids no and adoption shit. Agency. Yeah, your they kids would just lie. melt you, yeah. dude. You have to change your name and appearance and everything to adopt. I ain't gonna adopt no fucking kids. <laughs> you could do it in Korea. Yeah, they just give it to me. Oh, also, you if you had a kid and they were mad at you, they could just lie and say that you beat the shit out of them. Oh, yeah, the, there's evidence. There's evidence. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I always say if you lie about a crime, then it should really happen to you. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like, okay, well fine, if, if, if you're gonna get taken away from me beating the fuck out of you, I might as well just do it for real then, right? So cool, yeah. so if in between that time, there's about 15 minutes before the cops come, I'm gonna fuck you up to oblivion. And then, I'll actually be arrested for something I actually did. Because either way, I'm gonna get arrested. He takes there his anger go. out on his imaginary kid. I know, that, that poor imaginary Hypo kid. Hypothetically, well, hypothetically, I'm assuming that this kid is a piece of shit. He won't be, or Why? she won't be. Because you're raising them, so they're automatically gonna be No, I'm just saying, if this kid was my kid, yeah, it's your fault. It is. But it won't be. <laughs> so I'm, let me live in this hypothetical reasonable. world. Again, reasonable. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Cause my kid's gonna be fucking decent. Mm. But fuck that kid, dude. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna hit my kid. <laughs> Wait, did you mean like my kid's gonna be decent, but also fuck that kid as in fuck your kid like that? This Sometimes kid. some things don't make sense. Sometimes <laughs> oil is in his head. Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking He's about, He's getting Steve. his anger out and it's making sense in his head. Yeah, I mean, it's all his childhood anger coming yeah. out. Cause yeah. I never did that shit and I wasn't that great of a kid. How did he learn how to drive in the first place, though? You think the mom? That's a really good question. Know, GTA. He's probably the being team. taught by the mom, like with, like consent or something. Yeah. To to drive. Because that's around when I was taught at 13. But that's because like older high school kids that were like friends or whatever, they let me drive their van and they taught me and stuff. It's crazy too, because like that's a clear sign that that kid doesn't respect his parents. I took my own car one time. Oh, but it was you're so dangerous. I wasn't allowed to well, I was 15 and a half So it wasn't I didn't have my license yet But it was gonna be my car once I got my license and I'd already learned how to drive and So it would just be at home all day and we get home from school me and my boyfriend and it was raining and We wanted orange chicken from the Chinese place down the street and it was like, okay We can't walk there because it's raining and he convinced me to take the car, and I was so fucking nervous because I never, I never break the rules or anything, and I knew like my dad would kill me if I he found out that I was driving without a license. And this lady, this fucking old lady, almost hit me. It was the rain, and she just started merging over lanes and into my car, and I was like, ah! And it, I, it was like this close. Why to your dad didn't hit. want you driving? And um, yeah, if I would have gotten caught, I don't know so you didn't get caught? No. I wish I could go explain to to teenagers that. One day, you're gonna have your own car, and you're not even gonna wanna go anywhere or drive. I know, that's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I was that age, I was like, oh, I'll just fucking drive everywhere. Yeah. I'll take a cross-country road trip. I've never road trip one time. Really? On as own. soon as I got my license, I drove everywhere. Yeah, we went to yeah, Vegas yeah. so much the first couple years. Yeah. And we couldn't even do anything in Vegas, <laughs> but we just could drive there. I was all about driving, and now I'm like, oh, I don't wanna drive anywhere. Hey, it's like, let me post me. I don't want to go pick yeah, up. Exactly. <laughs> yep. But then I'm so stubborn. I'm like, I'm not paying seven fucking dollars for someone to come to my door, hate me while they hand me food. Like, I, I'll go, so I'll like, go I don't want to drive, up. and I don't want to order, so I, and I don't want to drive. I, I don't even want to chew. Yeah. Somebody needs to do like a ride service thing where it's just you pay a monthly fee, and then you can get X amount of rides per day. That'd be oh, the that's, sickest shit that's ever. Sick. It's called a that's personal driver. Right? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, but those are fucking expensive, <laughs> though. Flat rate. You know what else is the future? Personal drivers are fucking expensive. You're gonna pay, like, it's like, oh, okay. It's called the bus, a it's bus like ticket. A, you pay like a hundred bucks a month, okay? You don't have to buy car insurance anymore. You pay a hundred bucks a month, and you can just have uh, cars drive you places and drop you off. And then you pick, um, if you want a nicer car, you pay like, 
150 or 200 a month or whatever, and you can get picked up in an escalator. Yeah, because if we because it'll drive itself. If we don't have a great public transportation system, I don't mind doing that because like I I pay a shit ton for the Tesla, and I'm pretty sure it would be cheaper. Like I don't know, like a thousand bucks a month, and then you just get driven anywhere within like a 30 mile radius. As you don't have to you worry about maintenance or exactly. gas. I have a question. Be sick. I have a question. In this it's situation where yes. it's the automatic driving, uh, if someone throws up in the car because they're drunk and then the car comes to pick you up, like does the car know that it got thrown up in? I think it does. It automatically cleans the bar. It's the Jetson. Oh, it's just like the the public porta potty, whatever. You know how they after every use they spray the whole thing down. Oh, I didn't know that. 